Hi, I'm Rob Hag, the Director of Vision SF-50 Flight Training and Operations. We're here in Duluth, Minnesota on a gorgeous day and we're about to fly C-2, an experimental vision jet. Come with me, this will be a great flight. A great flight starts with a good pre-flight. Join me on the walk around. First thing, I'm gonna jump up on the wing so we can have a look um, down the engine to sell. I can see some engine probes. I see the N1 fan disc. We've got our aileron controls. I'm gonna go through the range of motion, make sure that nothing is binding. So here we're looking at the, the flap. This is a Fowler flap design. With this flap design, this aircraft stalls in the 60s. It's unheard of to have a, a, an airplane of this category with a stall speed that slow. And that brings us back to the, the ventrals and then finally the rudder vader flight control surfaces. This is blending our elevator inputs and our rudder inputs. And moving forward from the tail section, looking at the leading edge, I can see the, the icing boots. We also have those on the wing. Coming here, I can see the condition of the tire, the brake assembly, the strut assembly, and this beautiful landing gear uh, is a trailing link design. So not only does it look good, it's amazing the absorption characteristics of this landing gear. The nose gear is free castering. There's no connection between the rudder pedals and the nose gear in this aircraft. So when you're driving it on the ground, it feels just like an SR-22, it's fantastic. I think we're ready to get into the cockpit. We'll do a tour of the cockpit and then prepare the cockpit for our flight. One of the aspects of the cockpit that I just, I love and I think this is very important, especially as we transition a lot of our SR-22 customers into the Vision Jet, is the commonality and the comfort they're gonna have in this cockpit. We're flying to Tango Yankee Sierra, Tyson McGee Airport, Knoxville, Tennessee, future home of the Cirrus Vision Center. And we're up to our engine start. Fadic and the Williams International FG-33 made this really easy for us. I'm seeing our N2 move, our ignition within 10 seconds. I cannot wait to take one of our 500 deposit holders flying. They just get it. They just get in and fly the aircraft. And I, I truly think our owners are going to just be beside themselves the first time they have an opportunity to fly. Dual Tower Experimental Vision 252 Charlie Victor, runway 9, ready for takeoff. Here we go, hang on folks. Take off thrust. Engine's good. Airspeed's alive. And rotate. Five degrees of pitch. Positive right gear up. Accelerating through 115. Flaps up. We're climbing at 160 knots of indicated airspeed. We're climbing 2,000 feet a minute. What a view. What a view, what a gorgeous day. Okay, so we're, we're in a 45 degree bank to the left, pulling back on the stick a little bit. Great responsiveness out of the aircraft. There's a right hand turn, there's a left hand turn. I got my pitch trim set and I just simply let the airplane do the steep turn. It's almost like cheating. It is cheating, it's a vision jet. It should be simple, right? You should be comfortable, you should feel safe, and it should be simple. Obviously, we've got all of the, the weather selection, so we've got Sirius, you can turn on your, your next rad, your METARs, your lightning, your storm movements, your winds aloft for whatever altitude. Maybe you're, you're, the wind's kicking your butt and you wanna go up or down to see if you can improve your situation. All of that's in the cockpit here. I wanna do a little aerodynamic demonstration. So we go from 28,000 feet, 300 knots of true airspeed, and I need to be able to, to go down and I need to get slowed down, and this needs to be very manageable for pilots of all experience levels. I'm gonna bring it back to flight idle. Our top gear speed is 210. Gear coming down. 190 is our approach flap speed. So again, very high gear speed, very high approach flap speed, and we can go full landing flaps at 150. So less than a minute, we've slowed down from top cruise speed and we're at our landing speed. We could literally be crossing the threshold right now. I just, I think it's a very important characteristic of the, the airplane that's really gonna ease that transition when you're going from uh, a high performance single into a turbine aircraft. 
we're we're heading direct to Duluth now. Because look at that view. There's just there's nothing like it. Fun. You sort of get a rush of speed when you're flying next to the clouds. I could just I could do this forever. How much more gas do we have? 200 gallons left. Just want to hang out for a couple more hours. We've got all of this grandiose real estate on the primary flight display. I want to split that guy. And now I've got my primary instruments, I've got my chart with all that critical information, and I've never left my map once. I absolutely, absolutely love that. Clear out, 29 approach. 120, clear for the approach. 252 Charlie Victor. So here we are in the Vision Jet, and we're doing the same speed profile right now as we would in the SR-22. On the downwind, there's our approach flaps. Okay, gear coming down, a beam. Speed checks. 500. Lined up on the center line. Gears down and locked. There's some nice fall gusty wind Minimum. conditions today. Minimum. Right on glide path. Just like that. All right, we're back. We just flew C2 the experimental Vision SF-50. It's truly a remarkable airplane. It's a pleasure to fly. There's nothing like flying the real thing. It's truly remarkable what the engineering design team, experimental teams have accomplished here. They've hit their mark in every, every way they've exceeded it. My responsibility will be to hand this aircraft over to the customers, train them how to fly and make them safe in the aircraft. And I'm so excited to do that. I think we should all be proud of your accomplishments. I hope that you were able to have um, almost as much fun as we did in the cockpit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Thanks for riding along. We'll see you on the flight line. Today's a good day to fly a jet.